Um, I'm I'm getting video tonight at the local bar, or one of the local bars here. That um, uh, I'm getting video um, out where I'm a little more socially accepted uh, for being genderqueer, out of the closet, uh, wearing glam, like in in a dress and skirt, and you know anything that in my household is completely stigmatized and um, I'm beaten down for in my household for wearing. Uh, my birthday this year, back in January, I was uh, in a glamorous attire. Definitely I was in a dress and all of this type of stuff and I was beat down my birthday in January. So, at this point, it, it wasn't just this January, it was also the January before my birthday, the year before, that I also, I nearly got beat down. I was definitely chased around the house, and I have video footage of that on my channel. So, all this violence that happened to me, and it's been happening years, so, those were two that were, like, really crazy events that happened around, like, uh, the weekend of my birthday, essentially. And so, I, at this point, I'm not even celebrating my January birthdays because they're so traumatizing. I have nightmares about those uh, experiences. Like, it's kind of just awful. So, I'm not really celebrating those birthdays anymore. I'm celebrating my, what I call my Bizarro birthday, which is, or my Bizarro B-Day. I think that has a better ring to it. B Bizarro B-Day, which is basically the exact opposite of your birthday. If you have a really bad birthday, sorry, I'm like, burp, I'm like burping a little bit because I had beer tonight. I was drinking $2 PBRs. So, um, uh, my Bizarro B days are in July, which is like six months after my actual birthday. They're the opposite side of the year. So I'm like, the opposite like of your birthday is the, um, birthday that you would have if you were born the opposite end of the, you know, the, the wheel of what the year is, I guess. So anyway, um, that's actually next weekend. This is, um, I think this is July 6th or something. Anyway, I'm getting the, the date wrong on that. So anyway, um, yeah, um, I'm, that'll be like next weekend or something like that. Um, once I actually think about what, when that is. But anyway, it's July, and, um, hmm, just going on here. I, I got this video footage to talk in a setting that isn't in my home environment where, obviously at home, I look really distressed, I look really agitated in general from the environment. I can't talk very much on those videos. I am harassed in my home environment, and if they see that I'm posting video, I am obviously in danger in those situations all the time. Uh, even though there's been years of that footage, it's always in those situations, a venting situation or a situation where I, me posting videos, I've been beyond the point of even a vague argument. They're harassing me and they're violent to me and they're dangerous to me. All of the family in that environment is awful. So I, those are why those videos are in that environment. I rarely turn the video camera on just for the fact of that. So anyway, I'm like rambling a little bit. But I'm in a happier environment and I hope that I can show in this video a little bit that I'm happier when I'm visibly out of the closet. <laughs> I mean, I was out of the closet since 2011. Honestly, I changed my name to my trans name years ago, and this is 2019 now, so it's been a while. If that was 2011, it's been it's been a long time now. Um, so basically, I, I should mention, um, anybody like who's trying to be like really supportive of me on my videos, I really appreciate it. It's really awesome of you. I genuinely um, love anyone who supports me and cares and isn't being condescending and isn't being like, you know, an internet troll to me. Um, I appreciate all of that. To anybody who actually cares, that's really great because I'm not used to that at all and I'm always just like, uh, I don't know who cares. I don't know who's pretending to care. I don't know these things. 
especially when you're a total stranger. But it doesn't even really matter. I experience people every day who pretend to care and they don't. That's the problem in our society is it's so often. So I'm doing my best with that. But um, all in all, I wanted to say in this video, uh, if you um, do care and you're seeing these videos, I would like, I, I want to say this kindly to you because I really care um, about you as well that you uh, uh, um, are sharing your concern with me even though I probably don't respond immediately to res like the comments that I, I'm under so much stress in my environment from the psoriasis I'm dealing with. It's like really bad. So anything that I read in comments, 99% of the time, it's a harassing person. And it's really not exaggerating to say that. It's almost every time I look at my phone, I see a comment that is so condescending and so conceited. And I don't know if those people realize I'm screenshotting those. <laughs> because it's so bad. I don't know. Why do people give me terrible comments? Well, it's very much the culture of... Let's belittle this person until they're the way we want them to be, which is basically, you know, you belong back in either, um, you know, a suit or, you know, back in the blue jeans you were wearing when you, like, didn't dare to invest the money you were starving to save up to invest in the high fashion. So all of that, like, those, all those factors involved, it's hard for me to read comments, but I do notice there are comments from people who care I want to say, for those of you who, like, I, I say this to everyone, but I really appreciate those of you who who reach out. And I want to say that um, I, I hope everybody watching these videos, whoever you are, I mean, I, I, would, I would like to not be referred to by the name that my family calls me when you see these videos, the name that they call me in the videos that has everything to do with their transphobia because they know very well what my trans name is. They know it much well. They, they, they've known it since the point in time that I changed my name in 2011. Or at least on a social level, it was 2011. They've known it that, that long of a time and they don't care. Like, there's not any of that concern. So they keep calling me by the name that you hear in the videos and that's not my identity and that's not anything I've gone by for most of basically I would say most of the past 10 years um, so I, but I also kind of want to protect my trans identity so I'm not going to mention that in this video because I'm getting harassed a lot so I don't know I'm doing my best and if you care about me that's really awesome um, I would ask if you're going to reference me in any way can we use the the name, and this is the only one thing I could think of that would reference me specifically that wouldn't specifically also be my trans name that I'm trying to be a little bit private I, on some level anyway about, I guess. Um, uh, I, my, I, I, I would ask that you use the name Cypher, which is uh, kind of a gender neutral name because, you know, it sounds... Like, it, well, it's an unusual sounding name, and it's not specific to a gender, and it's also another word for zero. So I'm like, can I, can I ask, like, I'm asking you kindly, if you will, to reference me not as my born name that my family calls me to, can you, uh, or like they use when they uh, are harassing me for the most part in those videos, can you please uh, use the name cipher which would be like as you know the word cipher is similar to zero um i guess i prefer cipher with a c that is a little bit helpful because it's neither my born name and it's not my name that i use socially when i'm out in an environment because if i'm out in an environment where i'm around people it's kind of difficult because if they happen to know about the videos, they can harass me for the same reasons. And I'm not, you know, someone who can just fix my situation. I'm going home where I'm getting beat anyway, so if my family happens to know about these videos, it's dangerous. So I'm trying to get out of that situation right away if I can, or as close as I can. And it's a difficult situation. It's a difficult, a difficult environment. Uh, I also wanted to mention 
the words new boot goofing to the producer who contacted me recently who specified that they were sent to me by a celebrity in a text message and I'm just mentioning this I'm a little bit less agitated looking in my video here where I'm in a social environment so I'm like I don't want to be in a video being negative sounding if I'm addressing that person if they are a legit person who cares I don't know if that's an internet troll or not but I'm doing my best in that situation I'm like okay if this is a producer that happens to be associated with I even feel bad saying Christina Ricci <laughs> like I feel bad I don't know if she's associated with this person or not I gave her my information maybe it has something to do with her if it's a legit person from Christina Ricci who's reaching out to me um, I want to say thank you for reaching out to me I I am sincerely grateful to you. I am sincerely, um, I, I, I'm at a loss of words, frankly, because I did not expect anything at all. And if this is like, honestly, a reach out from, from people who are higher up in their industries, that I told her I'm working my way up to be able to be in fashion, and the film industry, at least on whatever level I can operate on while I've been struggling. I'm, I'm, I've been a filmmaker for many years now. I've filmed musicians so much, and I'm interested in movies of so many different types. But I'm especially, uh, I've been especially focused, creatively speaking, on the, on, um, the genre of parody. Uh, about gay people and trans people, the, the entire spectrum of LBGGQ uh, plus, you know, every everyone along the spectrum is part of my interest as far as my creativity is concerned. All that involves, you know, the rainbow flag, everything. And I described myself to Christina Ricci as a bit of a rainbow goth. And I think that she's most likely reaching out to me this way. And she's reached out to me already in her own way, and that's great of her, and I really appreciate it. So, if this is all connected to her, that's incredible. Either way, whatever the situation is with uh, the producer contacting me, I really appreciate it. And this weekend, I decided to get some more video of just talking about that situation, because I don't know what best way to do that. But it's a lot better for me to talk in a restroom right now. Where I am at a local bar than to talk in my house because it is so dangerous in that situation. I'm doing my best to get out of there, but they will not pay me minimum wage. And that is such a mess and such a disaster. I barely live while in on that. So I am living on a meal a day and that's all it is. And then I come out to the bar and you know, I buy two dollar beers. That's what I'm doing and on the weekends is I buy two dollar beers at local bars where I uh, hopefully don't have to pay cover charge because I don't have much money on me. So that's the best I'm doing. And I wear this makeup that I can barely afford. And I wear this fashion that I've invested the past several years while living on savings. So anyway, I'm doing my best. Also, I didn't shave, but um, I was going to shave tonight, but I didn't because it's Frida Kahlo's birthday this weekend. So I was like, well, in celebration of Frida Kahlo, She's kind of like a champion of genderqueer people, uh, being one of the only models of any kind in the 20th century who had facial hair as a woman, and I love her so much for it. So I'm just, I decided, okay, it's Frida Kahlo's birthday this weekend, and in honor of her, I decided not to shave at all, even though I shaved yesterday, technically. This is all five o'clock shadow from yesterday. So I'm just posting this video in honor of, well, of course in honor of her, and I'm also in honor of the people reaching out to me if they are genuinely monitoring what's going on in this situation in my own life. I'm trying to get out of there, but it's difficult. I, I'm literally on savings that are barely anything. It's far below minimum wage, to be honest, and if Christina Ricci is watching me and caring about me and like really looking at my situation with all that information that I posted, or how should I just say, I um, put it on the business cards. I appreciate her so much because she's beyond anyone I can imagine. And the fact that she would care 
at all and on a personal level is beyond anything. It's incredible.